Thank you, Secretary of State. So I would add that um, we're absolutely not um, hoping, hoping not to have a second wave, and that is one of the reasons why we are being so careful about unlocking social distancing one piece at a time, because we absolutely don't want this to get out of control again. However, is it right and proper to prepare for emergencies? Is it right and proper to put ourselves in a good position to be able to deal with an upsurge of cases? Absolutely. And let me emphasize a couple of things here. One is that um, maybe people are just hoping and praying that this virus will just go away, as indeed I hope and pray it will. But the reality is that um, certainly until we get a vaccine, and only if we get a vaccine that is really capable of suppressing disease levels, will we, be, will we ever be what we would call kind of out of this. And so from that perspective, we may have to live and learn to live with this virus in the long term, and certainly for many months to come, if not several years. A vaccine may change that, but we can't be sure we will get a vaccine. The other thing to say is that this virus is a new virus. We don't fully understand it. We don't understand something called seasonality. And one of the things that's very clear, for example, with flu viruses, is that they come in our cold winters and the levels of transmission and circulation decline over the summer months. Now, the data we have on other coronaviruses, we've looked at very carefully, and it is not clear that these, are, these, these coronaviruses are as seasonal as influenza, but there may be an element of seasonality, and it may well be that the autumn and winter conditions um, provide a better environment for the virus to then do its work again. So we have to be very cautious about that and plan for these kind of healthcare surges that we hope we don't need, but we want to be ready for them if they happen. Thank you. Very good. And thank you, James, for your question.